you today i'm about to show you how to make my super easy cookie monster cookies i am not a baker by any means y'all already know but these are fun super easy to make and i like to like switch things up so i'm gonna show you how i put these together so first you're gonna need a box of butter golden cake mix you're gonna need some chip Ahoy cookies you're also going to need some Oreos. I like to use Oreo minis. You're going to need a little bit of vanilla. And then also you're going to need two eggs and some butter. Make sure you take your butter out and let it get to room temperature. Mine's I had to put in the microwave for a little bit. So I'm also going to use a little bit of milk chocolate chips, some white chocolate chips, and some royal blue um, gel food coloring. So in a bowl, I'm dumping the cake mix. Then I'm going to add in my eggs, one by one. Okay, then I'm going to add in my butter. Make sure you save that butter uh, wrapper, the butter skin, because it, it's just going to make it a little bit easier to roll out the cookies because this dough is going to be like a super soft, sticky dough. So I'm adding in just like a little splash of vanilla. So when you first start mixing the cookie go cookie dough, it's gonna look like it's um, too dry and it's gonna look like it's gonna need more liquid. Don't add more liquid than what we already put in because you just have to work with it and it's gonna all come together. If you add in more liquid, you're gonna mess it up. Okay, so two eggs, one stick of butter, a splash of vanilla. That's all you need. And look at that consistency right there. Then I'm going to add in some food coloring. This is um, a royal blue gel food coloring that I got from Wilton. Um, when you're dealing with gel food coloring, a little goes away. It's definitely more strong, more uh, concentrated than liquid food coloring so I just put like a healthy drop of food coloring in there um, now that I'm looking back at it I wish I would have put like a little tiny bit more because even though the cookies did bake off a little darker than they uh, look here I just would have liked it a little darker so I would have added like a tiny tiny bit more food coloring but that was okay. So now I'm adding in a little bit of um, milk chocolate chips and definitely more white chocolate chips than the milk chocolate ones because you don't want the color to get too dark. So I just put a little bit of milk chocolate and like more white chocolate. Y'all, I'm not a baker, so work with me. I'm just telling you how I do it. I am not a baker, I'm a cook, so my dessert recipes are gonna be easy. And they're going to be real good, but they're going to be easy, okay? So here's my butter wrapper. And I'm just wiping some of the excess butter on my fingers just so it's easier to roll the dough. Because as you see, this dough is super sticky, okay? So you can't really tell, but these balls of dough that I'm making are like, I would say, two tablespoon size. So for that mixture, it made um, seven cookies. But when you see, once my cookies are baked, my cookies are huge. Okay, so you can definitely make smaller portions. This right here is not a regular size cookie sheet. This is a double XL size cookie sheet. So if you know the, the, the Wilton double XL cookie sheets, you know how big these cookies must be if only seven fit on there. So I just put some white chocolate uh, baking chips on top. Then I put it in the oven and cooked it halfway, 350, like at around 10 minutes. So right here, the cookies are half baked. I'm, um, I crunched up some of the Chip Ahoy cookies and I'm pressing them in lightly into the half baked cookies. Not in any kind of order. I'm just randomly placing just um, broken up pieces of the Chip Ahoy cookies. You know, just rustic like. It don't have to be in no pattern, you know. These kind of cookies look the best when you just free, just freehand it, okay? So, uh, I've been making different kind of cake mix cookies. Let me know if you want to see another variation. I have a s'mores cookie one. I have a strawberry cheesecake one. 
I have um, a strawberry crumble one, a rocky roll one. Like, you can really take these cake mixes and totally transition them and transform them into something wonderful. Super easy to make. Like, these are nice, chewy, good cookies. I like to put the broken Oreos with the seam side up where I broke it at. And I'm just putting those on randomly, too, all around the cookies. Y'all, these cookies are super fun, super easy to make, and they taste really good. You guys know I'm a caterer, so I try to add things to the menu that are bomb, and that's going to be easy for me to make a bunch of, but they're going to wow my clients. So I'm just showing you one of the things I've been making. So, yeah, I'm just still loading up these cookies with um, the broken up cookies and then we're gonna put them back in the oven for like seven more minutes here's how they look when they're done make sure to let them cool for like at least a good uh five ten minutes you know just so they could set and get super solid and yeah look at how beautiful these look y'all super easy to make anybody can make these make them let me know what you think when you do make them and uh I'll see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to do you, boo. Mm. Why not, man? I'm coming for